Hey there, and welcome to this ProFlows quick tip on getting depth of field inside of After Effects with Cinema 4D files. So here we are inside of Cinema 4D, and I've got a very simple scene set up. I've got a floor, and I've got two boxes, and I've got some lights set up as well, so that it looks like this. Pretty straightforward and simple. Oh, and one thing I wanna mention before we jump into this is that this is a floor object, okay? So that means that this floor object extends all the way back here, all the way back here, it fills the entire frame. So if this was just a plane with a wood texture applied, the plane would actually cut off here. And when you're looking through the camera, that can create some issues with creating depth of field inside of After Effects. If there's an alpha channel or something like that, it can kind of play havoc. So I just wanted to point out that this is a floor object. So the scene extends all the way off into the darkness and we'll add a camera here. That's the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna add a camera. And if I look through that camera by clicking the white button here and I rotate around to get, oh, a somewhat interesting angle, like, you know, maybe something pretty tight like this. Again, if this was just a plane, this would be alpha channel back here but the floor extends all the way back here, all the way back here and back here. So uh, it can create issues if you don't have an ex a, a set that extends all the way back. Uh, so just wanted to point that out. So we've got our camera set up here. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're actually now going to jump right back out of that camera. So we're looking at it and we're gonna go into our focus distance, okay? So we're gonna bring that focus distance. I'm just clicking and holding down and dragging and I'm bringing that focus distance probably maybe down in here, okay? Somewhere right in here, it doesn't matter, this is all experimentation. And that is our focal plane here. I can also click and drag here and it adjusts the focal distance as well. Next thing we need to do is click on details, okay? And under details, rear blur, we're gonna enable that. And you can see now there's a second plane here. I can click and drag here, I can bring that rear blur up here, I can also click and drag here, um, different ways you can adjust it. So we'll click on the white dot again to look back through the camera. We're gonna hit render and you're gonna see there's no depth of field happening because now we need to jump into After Effects and add that depth of field. Okay, so here we are inside of After Effects and I imported my Cinema 4D file into After Effects you can see it right here. It's the actual Cinema 4D file. It is not the render. This is the file. I'm gonna change it to standard final so that uh, we can get a full res render here of what's going on. And you can see I've got three effects applied here. And these are the effects I'm gonna use to show you how to accomplish this. So first thing we're gonna do is we're going to select the layer down here in our timeline, Command D to duplicate or go up to edit, duplicate here. So we have a layer above and this top layer does not need these extra effects I applied to it. So there it is. We're gonna solo this layer. We're gonna go up to Cinema 4D Multipass. We're gonna select that. We're gonna, that enables us to click, click on this button. We're gonna click that button and it's gonna say, what do you want for your depth for your multipass? We want depth, which is the top one here. There's all these different options here. It's really cool. We're gonna select depth, okay. And what's gonna happen here is our image here is going to turn into a depth map image, which here we can see, there it is. You can see this black line down here. If I jump into Cinema 4D, that, if I jump out of the camera here, that is where this focal plane is. So this focal plane is right in front of that box on the ground here. If you jump back into After Effects, you can see that's where this line is, okay? And our back blur is what's creating this depth here. The white, there's another box back here, it's completely white, okay? So we're gonna turn, we're gonna unsolo this. We're gonna turn off this layer. So that is our depth map layer. Back on our original Cinema 4D file with our third, with our plugins. This first plugin is Camera Lens Blur, which is built into After Effects. It's here under Effect, Blur and Sharpen, camera lens blur. There it is. Everyone has this effect, effect, blur and sharpen, camera lens blur, okay? 
it is built into After Effects, we apply it, and you can immediately see that everything here is already blurry. It doesn't look quite right because everything is blurry, right? Because it, it defaults to a blur radius of five. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click Repeat Edge Pixels to get rid of these kind of weird edge pixels. And I'm going to select Blur Map, and I'm gonna select layer number one, which is the layer that we turned into our depth map. Okay, and there you go. You can see the background is out of focus. The foreground is in focus. So I can turn the radius now up to 10. It's getting even more blurry in the background, maybe 15. The front is staying in focus. And there you go, you have depth of field. I can adjust things like I can invert the blur map, click that, and now everything in the background that's white is in focus. Everything that's gray and black in the foreground is out of focus. We turn that back off. We can also adjust the focus distance like we can here. And it's going to uh, change our focus distance uh, in our image here. Um, it's a really simple way to create depth of field inside of After Effects. I prefer to work with one of these two plugins here. This first one is from Frisch Lift Depth of Field, okay? So this is under Effect, Frisch Lift Depth of Field. I've talked about their Curve plugins and other lessons. Depth of Field is very powerful. It's very quick. All I have to do is change the depth layer here to our layer number one, which is our depth map. And by default, it's set to zero, so I can just start increasing this. And you're gonna see what happens once it actually activates. There it goes, we've got some really nice blur. I'm gonna increase this. What's fun about this plugin is I can actually click here, select depth, and I can go into my image here and start selecting points where I want my depth to be focused, like maybe the back edge of this square, or maybe down here, or maybe here. And you can see it's creating depth wherever I place that. So really, really nice, easy to use third-party plugin. It's also got more options inside of these dropdowns here. And the last one I like to use is from Sapphire. It's called Z-Blur. Again, it applies blur to everything. I'm gonna go to Z-Buffer. Changes from none to the first layer. There we go. I can increase the focal depth, something like that. Um, I can also reverse it, say black is near, and it's gonna do the reverse effect there. Uh, so really powerful stuff, really easy to play around with this. That is how you create interesting depth of field inside of After Effects with Cinema 4D files.